Hello everyone. In this introductory video, we will be taking a first look into the architecture of the nuclear board and some of the basics of ARM assembly. This is including storing, loading, and adding values using registers. Let's start first by talking about machine language or machine code. It is the language that is directly understood by a CPU. All programs must be converted to machine code before they can be run. Due to machine language's binary format, it is a very difficult language to work with. In order for us to work on the same level of abstraction, we use assembly. Assembly replaces these binary instructions with alphanumerical symbols, known as mnemonics. This gives us functionality to work with arithmetic operation, registers, subroutines, and more. Our controller is a RISC processor, short for Reduce Instruction Set Computer. In general, this architecture utilizes a smaller but highly optimized set of instructions. Specifically, the ARM controller that we are using has a load store memory model. This means that our only instructions to access memory is load and store. This will make more sense in a bit. On the STM32 IDE, I have written a program that adds two integers together. After building and compiling, the IDE produces a list file. Here, Every line in C has its equivalent set of instructions written in ARM assembly. Let's start by going through what these values mean. Starting with the first number on the left, this is the address of the instructions stored in our microcontroller's flash memory. The number to the right is the hexadecimal representation of the machine language's binary instruction. And the last few values that we see at the end are the ARM assembly instructions and operands. Let's take a closer look at these instructions. In the first one, this instruction is a move instruction. This writes an immediate value, or hard-coded value, to the destination register. In our case, the destination register would be register 3. If we look at our debugger, we will find that the value 9 was written to the register after the equivalent C declaration was completed. Let's take a look at the next instruction. This is when things get a little more interesting. The brackets enclosing R7 and 12 signifies that we're referencing memory addresses. You can imagine these things as pointers in languages such as C and C++. These registers are simply pointing to an address somewhere in memory. For us, R7 is pointing to a memory address. The number 12 that's inside the brackets is referring to an offset. This means that we're pointing to somewhere in our microcontroller's memory that it is 12 bytes away from the address that R7 is pointing to. Now, let's combine this with the str instruction. This is the store instruction. What we're doing is replacing a value in a register and storing it into a place in memory. So in our case, we're writing a value stored in register 3 into a place in memory referenced by register 7. Let's look at our next instruction. This is the LDR instruction. This means load. What this does is it writes values stored in memory into registers. The brackets in the LDR instructions mean the same thing as they did in the store instruction. Here, again, we are referring to some place in memory. So for our case, the register that we're loading this value into is register 2. We're loading the previous value that we placed in earlier in this video. In our last instruction, we are using the add instruction. This adds two registers together and places its sum into the first register. So for our case, we're adding register 3 and register 2 together and saving that sum into register 3. This concludes the first video. I hope that this video was able to help clarify concepts about ARM assembly in regards to loading, storing, and referencing memory.